Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be painting this line and wash of Godrevy Lighthouse in Cornwall. It's going to be my interpretation of a photograph um, from Pixabay. I shall leave a link um, to the photograph in the description below. It's a beautiful lighthouse. It's just off the coast of Cornwall, and apparently it was the inspiration for, or one of the inspirations for Virginia Woolf's novel, The Lighthouse, although she, um, she located hers um, in Scotland. But here's the photograph, and um, as I say, I'm going to be interpreting it as a line and wash, and I'm going to be changing up the weather to make it a little bit more bleak, make the water a little bit greener, uh, because that's my memories of Cornwall are all those beautiful colours. And I love grey sky days much more than I love blue sky days, so I'm using my artistic licence to change it up. I started off with a very loose, very simple sketch, just picking out um, all the main features of the lighthouse. Um, this sort of rocks upon which it's perched, um, where the main tones are, the shape of the lighthouse itself, without getting bogged down with too much detail. And now I'm going to be using my stick pens dipped in Indian ink to create the line work. If you haven't seen my video, about making and using your own stick pens for your line and wash um, then I you know please check out the description below I shall leave a link to that so I'll continue with the line work using this driftwood stick pen and my um, Winder & Newton Indian ink So that's about it for the line work and I hope you can see how different the line work is that's created using the stick pens. It's very expressive, the textures are different, there's a lot of variation in the type, thickness and tone of the line and we can get these really lovely subtle effects. By relinquishing control of the size of the nib, because of course um, this wooden nib picks up 
paint fairly uh, ink fairly randomly by relinquishing that control we can end up with some lovely expressive marks with a bit of practice now to leave it all to dry So the ink is all completely dry and you can see that I've um, painted a bit of masking fluid over the lighthouse and a few little bits of masking fluid just at the edge of the rock where it meets the water. And now I'm going to paint the sky wet in wet using raw sienna and Payne's grey. Um, and I'm going to paint the sea at the same time and put a little bit of tone across this rocky outcrop too. After tipping and tilting the wet wash around until it gets to the point where I like it, I've now laid the board flat and I'm continuing to put a little bit of um, colour and tone on this rocky outcrop. There's some grass around uh, the lighthouse. I'm just going to suggest that with some, just simply using some sap green and then I've just touched some Payne's grey, a little bit of um, raw sienna around the rocky outcrop using the flat brush. Maybe just dab off a few, few highlights here and there. Using a paper towel, this just lifts a little bit of light, lighter areas from the, the rocks. Um, now I'm going to leave it to dry completely. I forgot to say at the beginning, but I'm using Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's taped my board. My board was mostly at an angle of about 20 degrees. I'm drying the wash flat and now that it's dry, I've raised it back to 20 degrees and I'm using um, a rubber cement pickup to remove the masking fluid uh, from the lighthouse and other areas. But you can do this with a clean finger. Um, or the sticky side of a piece of masking tape. And I'm just going to add some wet on dry detail onto the rocky outcrop, shadow on the lighthouse, and just a little bit more tone and movement into the water of the sea.
so this has been a very simple scene um, just a nice atmospheric sky painted with two colors and then a few additional colors just to add a bit of color to the um, around the lighthouse and a bit of atmosphere and depth into the sea just knocking a little bit of that color back with some tissue in the water and um, now leaving it to dry and then removing the tape to have a look to see how it looks with a clean white border. This helps us to see the painting with fresh eyes and helps us to see whether or not it needs anything else. But I think that's OK. We've got a strong focal point with the lighthouse. The marks made by the stick pens are expressive and interesting, even if they're not that accurate. Um, I'm pleased with this. I like the way it's turned out. It's my first um, full stick painting um, or full painting using the stick pens for quite a while now and I'm just sort of warming up to them but I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out. Um, it might not be the great you know a particularly good painting but I really enjoyed painting it and especially enjoyed using the stick pens. Don't forget to take a look at the video that's linked in the description below that shows you how to make and use your own stick pens um, and then why not have a go at trying to, you know, do some line and wash with the stick pens? It's lots of fun. There's a stick pen demo for painting natural trees over on my Patreon page. So if you're interested in that and supporting me on Patreon, please follow the link below. And you can follow the link to support Morgana on Patreon too. Um, that would be really wonderful because that really helps us um, with this channel, um, with your support. And thanks so much to all the patrons. Uh, we really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. It's free to do and if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks so much and I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.